Hello everyone, my, new, my name is Sick and welcome back to Invisible Inc, where we are playing on Iron Man Expert Difficulty. And today we're going to go towards Atlanta to go to an FTM server this farm. This is a data center that handles network security for the region. We can find programs here that will give Incognita some new tricks to use in the field. Alright, so we don't have a lot of money to spend. But it is better than the other stuff that we had, which is more information and a weapon thing, I think. I think inf incognita upgrades are more important at this moment in time. This is, of course, the last day of mission, or the last mission of day one. So, after this, more missions will pop up once, and they will be more difficult as well. Alright, so we have to access the server farm and get out alive. And secondary objective, find and steal corporate credits. Well, I always try to do that, so... <laughs> Alright, let's uh, infiltrate the ha or hack the security camera and hack the console database. And since this room is probably a no-go, let's check out this room right here. It's a peak, well it's empty, so that's fine. We could have one HP left. We can peek. So we have a guard, and we can't predict his movements, which is unfortunate, but let's see, we can use Decker, have a peek for this door, so this is an open hallway, not sure where it goes, it might lead over here, but I think, yeah, we're going to use Decker to uh, look past this, or to go into this corridor on the next turn. Right, so we have one more guard, this guy seems to be stationary. Which is interesting. Alright, so this room is a dead end, but I do want to see what's behind door number two. Alright, so we have a console. Console database reveals the location of all consoles. Yeah, at one power we might as well, right? I haven't seen anything else that might be of use. Did you see that? Right, okay, so this is annoying. <laughs> We don't really have a way of reaching this area. I thought that since this is hidden, the door might be hidden from view as well, but no such luck. All right, so he's going to run. He's going to come running, and he's going to end up right in front of the door. Oh man, that is not great. We can't open this door yet, so we're going to have to wait for this dude, because we're going to have to get a key card to get through here. Alright, so we have a guard spawner, a door, possibly another door. And let's put International in ambush mode. Because we have to. He's not going to reach us this turn. Now, we could... Oh, it's probably too late now. What's this? Oh, we got all the consoles revealed, right. Yep. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> what, does, what did this one do? Also the location of all consoles. Same as that, that one. Interesting. Alright, so we could still hide from this guy and then sneak in the back once he's gone. Because he's going to look around on the next turn. We should be safe here. And Decker can get in here as well and then he cannot go any further. Let's... Did you see that? Damn it. <laughs> I was afraid that was going to happen. Um, alright, so, he's going to go right there, alright, so we can sneak around here, we could still knock this guy out, but we could also use this opportunity to sneak past with International, and Decker can still hide over here, which I think I'm going to do, let's end this turn. So this is still a level 1 facility, area. but uh, already it's a little bit more uh, interesting in terms of layout. Alright, so it revealed all of them again. <laughs> That's interesting. Alright, International, you should be good to go, and you are. Now, I'm not sure what this guy's going to do. He's going to turn around and he's going to go back the way he came. Mm. Alright, so... I think what we're going to do here is we're going to sneak her over behind the console. We're going to have to have a peek here, but we cannot go through, so we're going to have to wait a turn. As for Decker, he can uh, move into this tile, which saves us one. Now let's end the turn here. And we saw so little of this facility. Look at that. 
and we're almost at turn 5 already. And that was turn 4. Now we can steal from this guy, which we really should do. And he only has credits. Ah, uh, that sucks. Because we cannot go through this door. We. Oh, this is still hidden. And this seems to simply connect over to this room and then something else again. I'm not entirely sure how beneficial that is going to be. However, this door could be used to sneak over. So actually, let's see. Decker needs to move as far as possible. I think we're going to run him right over there. Because this guy is going to reach this tile again and then he's going to look back this way. But this might just be out of view. Hopefully. Otherwise, he can go invisible and we should be able to get past that way. But in the meantime, let's use International to check out these doors over here. Scouting is so important. Ah, yeah, so we are safe in this corner. Alright, so more cameras are being activated. Let's get this console for some power. Just going to look past here. Okay, so we can sneak around. Let's see. In fact, the corporate safe and the security camera, and then we have another safe for two power. We might as well. All right, let's have a look through here. This is a dead end. All right, I am still curious to know what is behind door the door over there. So, all right, Decker is going to go as far as he can. Since this guard is looking this way, we should be able to sneak past around the back here as long as we keep an eye on this dude in the... In the yeah, this dude <laughs> right there, essentially. The server terminal is in sight. Oh, Time to there it is. That's infected, and meanwhile... Yeah, kitty, kitty. Um, we're going to have to peek through this door. Ah, so the exit is over here. Alright, cool. So now we know where we have to go for our objective. Let's infect this thing as well. We can hide right here. And something is still aware of us. There's another camera here. Which is unfortunate. Alright, so this guard is back. We're going to have to do a peek. Yeah, I knew it. Now we're going to have to wait another turn, which is unfortunate, but um, maybe we could get a server program that can break some stuff automatically or right away. That would be nice to have. And I, I want to get this one and that one. And then I think we're just going to go for the exit here. I mean, I think that's the best plan. Alright, let's have a look. We have a thousand credits. We have wrench four only breaks firewalls exactly equal to force strength. Wow. Hmm. That's That might be good in the late game. Um, let's see. Cycle. All power is cleared each turn. Auto generate large power. Then gain free power. Ah, so you will basically have free power permanently. Eh, not so great. Not for us anyway. Reveals hidden demons and identifies demon types. That could be good. Flare. Breaks four firewalls for zero power, plus one to all firewalls. Ah. Towers. Moves a demon to a random device. Okay. Hammer. Breaks five firewalls for five power. Free turn cooldown. That could be good. Then we have Dagger. Breaks five firewalls for three power, four turn cooldown. Alright. Slightly less expensive, but one more turn of cooldown. I think we're going to go for Dagger here. Yeah. And then gain 5 power at the start of the turn if power is free or below. So we can basically use that to always have free power. So this will always be able to be used as long as we have emergency reserve as well. Now we could buy one more thing. Maybe Demon Sniffer? Return reveals hidden demons and identifies demon types. This could be very useful in the late game because there's going to be more demons. But is it worth sacrificing something else for it? Well, we don't have the credits to buy anything else. So this could be good. Now we know what kind of chances or risks we're taking. You know what? Yeah, let's go for it. Ooh, crap. New daemons came online the second the connection dropped. 
I knew we couldn't trust that yeah. damn cat. Alright. Rubik's. Races firewalls. Ooh. Alright. Well, I wanted to get the money, and I'm not going to go into the, into the rest of the map. So this firewall actually isn't all that important, and we can still infect that stuff for free. So yeah, it is... Um, Right, we are still doing that, okay. He's going to go back. We could still steal stuff from, or yeah, steal some stuff from this guy as well. Oh no, we already stole his pockets, right, yeah. I remember. Alright. Demons are defensive AI programs to protect mainframe devices. They will trigger when you hack the device. Different demons have different effects, but all of them will be will hurt. Be careful, yep. Alright. Money. Let's go right here. Get this safe. And then... I suppose you might as well get this power. We might as well get International into the elevator here. Let's end this turn. Let's do this back. We could maybe steal from him as well. I think we're going to do that. Yep. Security card. Let's move him around the back. Awesome. Alright, so this is not going to be a problem. All firewalls have increased in strength by one. Yeah. That's fine. Let's move him as far as we can. End this turn. We can safely move over here as well. Let's close this door. Because you never know. End the turn. Alright, run him through. Getting very close to the end. Nothing can touch us now, so... This should be okay. And then we have 300 credits for the next mission. Alright, end this turn. Before we even reach level 3. That's quite nice. Alright, there we go. Incognita has incorporated the new routines. She's already more useful to us. Excellent. Alright, so there were only two guards. Wow. Well, that's going to change later on. <laughs> we only didn't hack two cameras. And the nanofabricator, which I did notice up to the north. But that means we got all the saves and basically all the money that we could out of this mission. What well, we spent a thousand, we earned around, uh, let's see, 490. Yeah, plus 490. That worth is 7,900. Fault access card. Oh, that was in storage, right. And Monster doesn't have anything to sell us, so... We need to keep moving. If the corpse get a fix on our location, we won't last long in a direct fight. Keep up the hit and run, and we might just get through this. All right. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought I thought we had another day. Look at this. We're still on day one. All right, so we have the nanofab vestibule and executive terminals. Are technically at war with each other, but reality is much. We don't have the money to buy anything at the nanofab. This might give us more information about what to do next. So this is going to be our next mission or our last mission for day one. I guess I was mistaken about that one. Anyway, please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more, and I'll see you guys whatever video I do next.